hello 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 welcome back to another video with myself Leanne Juliet today I wanted to talk about um, why your energy is so sacred and not giving it away to just anybody who wants to access your energy I was gonna record a funny story I was gonna record a video earlier but I'd just been to the dentist and um, she has to put some anesthetic in my in my gums like as she's cleaning <laughs> and I, like I, I couldn't I couldn't move my mouth it was just absolutely hilarious so I was texting a friend I was like I really want to do a YouTube video today she's like do it I was like I literally can't talk because my mouth my mouth was like that and it was just it's just really weird but anyway I was waiting for divine inspiration for a video and here it is your energy is sacred and not everyone has access to it what I want you to remember is that we are all sovereign beings we are all divine beings having a human experience who you associate with who you give your energy to really impacts the experiences that you're having and the people you're interacting with and the energy you're receiving because people make the mistake of thinking, oh, well, this person's family, therefore I have to talk to them. This person's been a friend for, I don't know, a million years, therefore I have to keep them in my life. This person's like an ex-partner and, you know, you know, we have a, a, a you know, we have um, children together or we've known each other for years or whatever. So like I have to tolerate it. No, you don't. Oh, this person's like my boss, but they still treat you like shit. No, your energy is fucking sacred and not everyone gets to access it. And this has been part of my own spiritual journey, my own spiritual healing journey as well, in terms of like reclaiming my power, reclaiming my energy and refusing to give my energy and my power a way to anybody who hasn't fucking earned it because I see myself as sovereign I'm a fucking queen like I am galactic royalty like it's just that is the frequency I exude like I carry this very powerful frequency within me that I am very selective with who I allow into my life and into my frequency because I know the impact that my energy, my frequency has on other people. So I'm very selective. I have had to learn the hard way with energy vampires, with narcissists, with people who take, 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 with people who are rooted in what I would call a lower frequency consciousness who refuse to fucking grow. Like, I've had to learn the hard way through those people, but I'm an alchemist, so I learn through the experiences and then I transmute the shit into gold, as I like to say. So I've had to learn through the hard times with a number of narcissists in my life, like quite a few over the years. Um, energy vampires, people who've latched onto my energy, like leeches and parasitic leeches, who've become addicted to my energy, obsessed with my energy. Um, this includes friends. Um, well, ex-friends now because like I cut people off. Um, I've had to really have very strong boundaries for my energy because I know what I will and won't accept from other people. And this comes from a lifetime of growing up with um, CPTSD, um, complex PTSD um, and being a people pleaser, uh, a recovering people pleaser, I may say. I've got so many Virgo elements in my chart, but like a four, you know, a Virgo stellium, and four, uh, stellium, four planet Virgo um, in my chart, including my sun sign. Um, so like the shadow side of Virgo is to like give, give, give and just be the martyr, but you don't have to give your energy to anybody because the way I see it is people have to earn your energy. People have to earn your frequency because why would you just accept anybody into it without vetting them, without thinking, 
do I want this person in my life? Because when you understand yourself and see yourself as energy, as I do, when you understand and see yourself as an energetic being, as pure energy, then it makes sense as to why you wouldn't want a certain energy in your own energetic field and why you would accept others. You don't want draining people, like draining as fuck people or toxic people or energy vampires or narcissists or whatever other shit show wants to show up. You don't want those in your field because it is draining. They literally suck the life force out of you by tolerating their shitty fucking frequency. Like you don't have to tolerate anything. You are sovereign. You are a sovereign being. So you get to decide who enters your frequency, who enters your energy and who doesn't. Who doesn't have access? Who's denied access? And I'm seeing like with my psychic eye right now, um, a VIP sign, you know, like when you go to events and we've got like the big VIP zone and you're like, oh my God, do I have VIP? Like that is how you have to see your energy and your frequency is VI fucking P and see yourself as the sovereign being that you are and that not everyone has access to you. Not everyone has permission to enter your energetic field. Not everyone should do because you're fucking divine and you get to decide how you share your energy and how you share your frequency and who you share it with. You get to decide that. Like, we're not a fucking charity case. We're not, like, having to speak to everyone or give our energy to everyone like oh my god I feel sorry for this poor fucking narcissist or I feel sorry for this like toxic as fuck friend no no like stop giving your fucking energy to these people take your power back and when you take your power back you begin to reclaim a part of yourself that that has felt off limits because you've been giving your power to these parasitic leeches, basically. And energy is real. Energy transfer is real. I work with energy. I work with quantum energy. I work with multidimensional energy. Energy transfer is real. So when you are aligning with the wrong people, you become drained. You become tired. You're, you're your life force has been sucked out of you. Look at like the amount of celebrities in the world who have like fucking leeches hanging on, like all these Klingons who are just in their entourage of like these wannabes who just hang on them. They're like, like fucking leeches. And they drain the fuck out of these people because these people feel like, oh, I need to like have these people in my life or I can't tell them to fuck off or it'd be rude of me to like tell them to fuck off or like I have to help them out and give them a platform. No, you don't owe shit to anybody. You don't owe shit to anybody. People have to earn being in your energy. People have to earn being in your frequency because it's invitation only, baby. Invitation only to be in your frequency because you're that fucking divine that sovereign and divine that you're exquisite your frequency is one to taste to experience it's vi fucking p and so people have to earn your your trust your um and the ability to be in your frequency because not everyone gets to be there and yeah we have to stop accepting or tolerating this toxic as fuck advice that, oh, it's family. Oh, you've known that person 20, 30, 40 a million years. Oh, they are like, you have children with them. Oh, you, you've worked there for however long. Like, just put up with these people. No, you don't have to put up with shit. You don't. Because sorry my hay fever is so bad at the moment like, it's so bad plus the anesthetic in my mouth for many i was like <laughs> trying to talk i was like even dribbling at one point i was like dribbling it was so funny <laughs> like your your energy is exclusive 
And when you see yourself as exclusive, and this isn't from an ego perspective, I couldn't give a flying fuck about ego and like spiritual ego and all that bullshit within like spiritual people, I couldn't give a flying fuck about it. When you see yourself as exclusive, when you see yourself as a luxury frequency, when you see yourself as a sovereign fucking being, when you see yourself as exquisite and divine, that means that you attract, you're going to attract people who want to be part of that frequency, those who are able to, um, those who are able to empower you within that frequency because they're not seeking to take they're not parasites leeches narcissists whatever but then you're also going to have the parasites leeches and narcissists who want to be around you because of the the aura the power the authenticity the divinity the sovereignty that you exude but you get to decide who plays in your frequency. You do. You don't have to accept everybody. Because why the fuck should we? Like, why? Why is that a thing? Just because somebody's your fucking family doesn't... Or, like, a friend from, like, your entire life since you've known since kindergarten or whatever. It doesn't mean to say that you have to keep them in your energy. Your energy is exclusive. You are exclusive. We are all sovereign beings they're all divine beings and those of us who operate from a higher frequency consciousness my hay fever is so bad those of us who operate from a higher frequency consciousness we require a certain frequency to play with we are not interested in babysitting a lower frequency consciousness we are not interested in babysitting people stuck in their their shadow self, their lower frequency self, like their egoic self. We're not interested in that shit because we command a particular frequency. I command a particular frequency. I know the people that I will and will not allow into my life. And that has taken me a long time to be able to set those boundaries because I was a massive people pleaser, massive people pleaser. Yeah, I'd been through so much abuse in my life that I really didn't know who I was. Um... PTSD and everything, sorry, my, I should have had a hay fever tablet about an hour ago. Um, PTSD, abuse, trauma, all that kind of shit, like the entire fucking shit show. So I wasn't the best judge of character about six or seven years ago when I went through my spiritual awakening. I wasn't the best judge of character. I am now. Like for me, energy doesn't lie. For me, I can meet somebody for the first time and decide whether I want to get to know them better or not based on their frequency, based on their energy. Because it's your energy that I read first. It is your frequency that I read first. If there is anything in there that is off, like off milk, that's something that just feels bitter, like just a little bit, like gives you a bit of an ick, a bit of a bad taste in your mouth. I won't tolerate it. I won't entertain it. I used to. I used to feel that, that like, because I read the energy. I read the frequency. I read the shadow. I'm a shadow seer. I used to, I remember there's one girl that I knew. Right? There's always this energy of envy. There's just a subtle, because I read the very subtle nuances of frequency. There's always this, this very subtle frequency there of envy and I could never understand why and then I understood later on that she was like a massive narcissist and like she'd been like feeding off my energy and trying to take my ideas like stole a lot of shit from my website and tried to pass it off as her own and everything I was like oh my god like why was that person in my life and that's because I had no fucking boundaries I do now so your energy is exclusive your energy is not meant for everybody like your energy is meant to be tasted by those who can truly experience the gift that it is, who can truly experience the gift that you are, who can truly experience and taste the frequency of divinity that you are. And not everyone can. So not everyone gets to be VI fucking P baby. Not everyone gets to be that. You get to decide who enters your energy, who enters your frequency. And who gets to 
be turned away. I'm just seeing my mind now, like the bouncers. Who gets to be turned away, uh, away by the bouncers? Like, not today, love. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thinking of like London nightclubs and everything like no 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 like fuck off like not today do you have VIP no event there's the fucking door like you get to decide that and just because you've known somebody for like 10 fucking million years does not mean that they get to stay in your energy you get to decide who uplifts you who makes you feel good who makes you feel free and liberated and expansive and who doesn't? Who drains you? Who's a fucking parasite? Who's a leech? Who's like sucking your energy and makes you feel shit about yourself? And show them the fucking door. It's okay to show people a fucking door because you don't owe anybody shit. You get to decide who comes into your energy because your energy is sacred. Thank you so much for watching. I do apologise for my on source of hay fever symptoms and everything. Um, I will go and have another tablet. Um, my hay fever if you've liked this video you know give it a like a share subscribe a comment whatever the fuck you want to do share it to a friend whatever um subscribe to the channel i am back now with a lot more content i went into a bit of a hermit mode around my youtube channel i'm not really sure where i wanted to take it but i'm back now more powerful and stronger than ever more disruptive than ever cheekier than ever and giving zero fucking fucks about anything. So give a video a like, a share, a subscribe, a comment, and I will see you on the next video. Thank you so much. Bye.